saying that. Hey guys, welcome back. I got something to show you. And things are going to be looking a little bit different now. So over this weekend, I had, this last weekend, the weekend before, uh, well, one of these last weekends, I built a new workbench for my little room. And got it all set up and everything, more, a little bit more user friendly. And also camera friendly. So you'll be getting a little bit different view than what you've normally been getting with me. So that would be a big plus. Now let me show you what I mean. This here is the camera setup. I've got some one inch, a one by one uh, tubing. As you can see here, one by one tubing. Set up with quarter inch pubba. <laughs> Set up with quarter inch bolts at all joints, there, there, on all of them. And I got them in a one inch uh, rigid pipe that is, well it's actually a close nipple, set up in a flange that I screwed to the top of the workbench. And these are, uh, except for the tubing. I got the flange and the pipe and the quarter inch bolts from the local hardware store here. And a little friendly reminder, no, not a reminder, but a little quick tip. I found out that the little connections at the bottom of these, here, that little screw, come on, focus for me. Come on. Focus. Well, the little screw that you put into your cameras and some of the camera bases for the GoPros are our are quarter twenty bolts. I found out. So that's just a little FYI. Now this little thing here is what I'm kind of excited about. As you guys have probably sure you remember from my previous videos. So we see in that arbor press in it. Well, I have it now recessed inside my workbench underneath this marble or granite, whichever I don't recall, um, uh, plate here. And I've had this plate for the longest time. I got it from my in laws years back, and I was going to end up turning it into a coffee table, but decided not to. And. I knew, know that a lot of people, a lot of leather workers use this instead of the aluminum blocks or, well, anything else really. So, I figured I'd go ahead and jump on the bandwagon and use it for here. And it's really nice. Even after being in storage for so long. It actually came out of an old bank. And no, I did not rob a bank for this. Like I said, I got it from my in-laws. So you had to talk to them about that. <laughs> so, uh, I'm actually really happy to get this and start using it now. All right, so I got it set up on a, this little workbench. Hey, Becky. Hi. Hey. <laughs> really, that's it? Hi, Dad. <laughs> Say hi, everyone. <laughs> She's a little camera shy. She doesn't know what to think. <laughs> So, let me get this camera up there so you can actually see what it looks like from up there. So, this is what it looks like with it mounted on that little contraption there. And, what, you want to show them, Becky? You want to show them what you're working on? Here, bring it on over here. Here. You want to show them? Right there. See? <laughs> so... Uh, with this, I'm able to get several different views. Uh, as you can see, I got all of this motion. I swing it clear around. Uh, I can get it down and close to uh, up, up and close to the press there, and I can if I can get swing over there right 
give me a minute. And I can get it right over my leg vise here. So you guys will be able to see me stitching right here as well. So let me get you back adjusted again. So as you saw, I got full camera range of everything in here. Well, oh, just about. So I'm very excited to go ahead and use this because it's going to make views a lot better. I yes. You want to show them the pencils? Yeah. All right. Show them. Yeah, bring it over here. Yeah, yeah, see? See? <laughs> you got to bring it in front of this little part here. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> I think you can have a big. Yeah. <laughs> So, uh, yeah, full range. So I'll even ha be able to, of course, get an overhead view right here from where I'm working and wherever I'm working right here specifically. So, the video, I was just wanted to show you that a little bit because I was really excited about it. So, y'all remember these, right? If you've watched my video. The corn stock cutters, this will be three videos with these. I'll be doing up both of them. I am going to be making a sheath for these, as I'm sure you probably already guessed. Uh, I'll be uh, doing one up for each of them, a little bit different. It'll be pretty much the same thing, but I might make them look a little bit different. That way I can definitely tell the difference between the two. I think one's shorter than the other one. But I can't recall right off the top of my head. So, man, I already like this all, already. Instead of looking off over there, where the tripod would be, it's all right here. Uh, such a big difference. <laughs> so, yes, I'll, uh, sheaths. So I'll be doing these, the sheaths for these, very similarly to this, uh, this sheath for this uh, uh, butcher knife. And I will also, I'm going to be adding, uh, doing this part on it for sure, to where it just kind of sticks in there, slides all right on in. I'm going to be using this part from this sheath and using the wraparound design like on this one. So, and I guess on this one as well. So, they'll be, it'll, they'll kind of mingling the two, just to give you an idea. But they're, they're going to be very close to the same uh, designs. But, I, don't, I have not decided if I'm going to go ahead and do the basket weave design or what I'm going to do with them yet. So I might just do a basket weave on one and do something completely random on the other. I don't know yet. So kit back, relax, and enjoy the video.
So, I want you want to show them that. Okay, go ahead and show them. Oh, you gotta bring it over here. Come over here. That little bag out of your way. There you go. Bring it up here. Over here. There you go. <laughs> see it on the little screen right there? Oh, you can even see you right there. You can see my eye. <laughs> okay, Becky. Ah. Uh, so, I got them done, and they are looking pretty good. Uh, one of them, oh, here's the other. So, one of them, uh, the bigger one, the first one I showed you, this thing, I was fighting getting it into the sheath initially, because I didn't realize, whenever I was doing this up, that, yeah, I knew, I realized it, but, so I compensated for it, because they're both very similar. Of course, it's wider at the end, and it narrows down. Well, this one also arches a little bit. I don't, I don't know if you can tell. Yeah, you can actually tell a little bit on there. But it, it arches, and I didn't realize that. So, it messed up the initial design for this end down here. As you can see, I designed it to bring the thread all the way back out here. And well, whenever I put it in there first, before I stitched it, I just could not get this in there with the glue being here. So I wound up having to tear it out, uh, tear it apart, and be able to get it in there right. Because this was going to drop below the peak of the blade. Uh, from the tip there. So, I wound up having to uh, bring it back farther. And, well, bring the stitching back. It is what it is. Learned lesson right there. And this one actually came out a lot better in that manner. Because this one, it may arch a little bit, but uh, it might a little bit, but not a whole lot. So, I gotta watch the details a little bit more. It all worked out pretty good. The Neat's Foot Oil, if you watched in the video uh, right before this, uh, the more I applied the Neat's Foot Oil, the darker it got. But, of course, that's with everything that you put, uh, apply, but this, uh, it just takes a lot longer to do. It takes multiple layers for it to come out dark. And it's a lot different than that mink oil that I normally use. And I just use a blowtorch to it to let it really soak in. And with doing that, it darkens it up even more. So, I don't know about torching with the Neat's Foot Oil. I have not tried it yet. So, yes. I want to show them this. You want to show them that? Okay, come on. Come on. Show them. <laughs> I got stickers on it. Yeah, stickers. <laughs> and on this side. <laughs> See? <laughs> but yes, as I was saying, it needs foot oil. I haven't tried it out yet. I haven't done a test strip at all with it. Normally I do whenever I change stuff up to try to see how it reacts differently on uh with with it heating it up i haven't had the need to go ahead and want to yet but i may just go ahead and do it just to try it out so uh video verse it this one is in hebrews chapter eight and it is one through six and it says now this is the main point of the things we are saying we have such a high priest who is seated at the right hand of the throne of the majesty in the heavens, a minister of the sanctuary and of the true tabernacle which the Lord erected, and not man. For every high priest is appointed to offer both gifts and sacrifices. Therefore, it is necessary that this one also have something to offer. For if 
he were on earth, he would not be a priest, since there are priests who offer the gifts according to the law, who serve the copy and shadow of the heavenly things, as Moses was divinely instructed when he was about to make the tabernacle. For he said, See that you may see that you make all things according to the pattern shown you on the mountain. But now he has obtained a more excellent ministry, inasmuch as he is also mediator for a better covenant, which was established on better promises. And that is Hebrews 8, 1 through 6. And remember, God is always with you. And I will see you guys in the next one.